Hello and welcome again to our Photoshop. Today we are going to see a quick trick. For example, you had taken this nice image and you would like to see what is the effect if you had some sunlight in this image. You can add this sunlight quickly using one of the filters. This filter is called the lens filter. You find it under render lens filter. Okay, when you click on the lens filter, you will have these options. You have uh, usually it opens with the previous uh, settings you had uh, made or had you, uh, whatever, uh, however you had used it before. You have four settings uh, depends on the lens, uh, and you have this movie uh, prime uh, at the end, and you have the intensity of the brightness of the uh, of the light source that you are going to add or not light source. It it acts exactly as if you are taking an image against uh, a bright source. That's why it's giving these reflections. You can you have this small plus sign here. You can drag it anywhere uh, in your drawing, and you will have the reflections uh, on the other side. Uh, if you select this 35, for example, Melly, you can find here. This is the the image. That's the plus sign. You can drag it here, and you can find that here. That's you can have a look uh, in focus on this area. You can see while I'm dragging it, this lightened area, which is the reflection, is changing its uh, position. You can change uh, the, its brightness, depends on which time of the day you would like it. And you can simply press OK. But instead of pressing OK, we'll make cancel, because this kind of filter is a distractive filter. Uh, first we will unlock our layer, then the next step you have two options. Either you add this filter on a separate black layer, uh, or solid color layer, or you add it on, a, on this layer, but after converting it to smart filter. So you have the option to modify it or to remove it after that if you are making uh, layers of modification. So we will, we, we will try post uh, methods in this video. So we will go to video, to filter, convert for smart filters, ok. After converting for smart, for smart filters, I will go to filter, again render, lens flare, ok. Uh, for example, I will select this, I will keep this uh, movie prime, I will increase its intensity a little bit, and then I will hit OK. Simply, you had a very nice uh, sun with some reflections uh, to it. OK, you can see the reflections here and here, and you can change it with the changing the intensity of the light source. If you double click on here, now you can modify it. So. I can increase its intensity here, for example. OK. And you can see how it looks with increasing the intensity. Suppose that I like to add it in a different way, as we said, on, by adding it on a separate layer with uh, a black background. I will simply remove this effect from here. And from here, I'm going to add a solid color layer, which is a new layer. Or simply, you can go to Layer. You will find details about all these steps uh, on our blog post. You can find uh, the link here on the top. New fill layer, solid color. Okay. And I will select the black color. You are adding it using the hex digits, it's six zeros. Okay. Now, while on this layer, because it is uh, blended using normal blending, it's covering completely the layer behind. We will see how to, what we are going to do with it after that. Now we go to filter. Again, render, lens flare. Okay. Now you can see how it looks. You see it is coming exactly in the same settings as we have done in the previous image. So, okay. You can see now exactly how your filter looks uh, on a black background. Now, to make this effect applied to the image, if you see, if we remove this filter, we return to the original image because we had disabled the smart filter from here. Now, we return our black layer and then we go to the blending mode. Instead of normal, we will go to screen. So, the screen will blend it exactly as if you are applied, had applied the filter. Uh, to the layers here. What is the difference between these two methods? It depends on your workflow, how you are going to do it. Uh, you can try with this also. If you click uh, on the lens, you can uh, change 
for example, to this filter, you can see how it looks on the black uh, background. That's the light spot on the opposite side, as we had described, and that's our uh, light source. If you say click OK here, you will find it applied. That's set of 100. You can change its intensity. It will give you different shades of light as if different parts uh, of the day. You can make OK here. You can see how it looks by these settings. Uh, I hope you had learned a quick professional trick today that will help you to uh, create new image from your old images or add life uh, to your images. Uh, join our channel, activate the bell to receive uh, all our videos as they come. Uh, join our uh, blog post uh, where we put detailed tutorials about our videos uh, in a step by step and uh, screenshots so you can follow them. Thank you for following so far. See you in the coming videos.